today's hands-on gardening report, Corey Malis shows us a few different kinds of diseases that affect maple trees and how you can treat them. Well, in today's hands-on gardening, I'm joined by Steve Hunzinger from the UW Extension Office. And Steve, today we're going to talk about maple trees and in particular some of the common diseases that affect maple trees. Now, most of these are cosmetic in nature, so you don't have to worry about them, but a couple of them that are a little bit more serious. That's right, and let's start with those leaf diseases that a lot of times we notice, especially later in the season like we are now, and they're really not going to cause a lot of problem for that tree. We might have some anthracnose, we might talk about leaf spot or tar spot, or even some of the galls that we see here on some of the leaves are going to be on the uh, surface of the leaf, but not causing a lot of damage. And in most cases, they're on larger trees. We don't need a lot of treatment for those. They may have to clean up some leaf debris around the tree to kind of keep them from continuing on year to year. But for the most part, it's not economical to spray or to treat those trees. Sure, and the other thing that we worry about this time of the year is just environmental factors. Uh, it's been a little dry lately. You may notice some of your leaves beginning to change and drop on those maples. Yep, and that's a sign that we want to make sure that we're watering, putting some supplemental water out each week if we need to, if we get into those dry zones. Uh, the last few years we've seen those dry periods, and that all adds up to that tree's stress. And the other thing is we may do some fertilizing late in the season just to help build some capacity to it, especially on a younger tree. Okay, now what are some of the more serious uh, diseases, diseases that you're going to need to have professional treatment There's for? really two that we're going to think about, Corey, and one's the root rots. Oftentimes we'll see some of the fungus start to grow either out of the roots themselves or on the side of the tree, on the st stem or trunk of the tree. That's a sign that, that we have some rotting going on in that tree. And oftentimes you want to have that checked out immediately because it probably means it's not very solid inside. Side. The other one is verticillium wilt, which has, ends up in the vascular tissue of the tree. Some signs are a lot of seed production the year prior, and then we see uh, some coloration very early in the season. We might see some wilting or drooping of those leaves, especially on one particular stem. Okay, and if you notice those things, you're probably better off having a professional come in and, and do a diagnosis. Yeah, you really want to talk to a certified arborist to really get you a, an analysis of that tree or send in a sample so that we can get a test to determine what exactly is going on with the tree. Already sounds good, Steve. That is today's Hands-On Gardening.